Hey guys, what's up? DJ Madawa, back with another video. Um, so today we're going to be reacting to Jesser's 1v1 basketball stats, win, loss, record, and shot chart. So remember guys, we are grinding every day or almost every day for to 1k subscribers. So if you're watching this, please subscribe to the channel because we make awesome videos and leave a like on this video. If we get enough encouragement on this video, I will start making other reaction videos. But let's get right into it. Okay, free ball. That was hella nice. The the free 60 dunk, that was really nice. Exposing people out here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The people wanted it, so here it is. Jesser's 1v1 basketball stats. His one um, a link to uh, the channel that made it. The link to uh, my channel to subscribe. The link to Jesser reacting and LSK and all those videos will be in the description. So remember to click the links in the description to watch other the videos or subscribe to me. Okay, let's get right into it. Loss record and his shot chart. Let's get into it. First things first, let's talk about Jesser's okay, overall game. He is a three-level nice. scorer with a deadly perimeter he shot. Really this is, man though. loves to shoot the three ball and loves to show off his range whenever That's he's deep. feeling it. He has a nice looking mid-range shot, a okay. nasty fadeaway J, yeah. and has okay. a good size Jesser? frame that he uses to drive on opponents okay, or back Jesser? them down in the post. Okay, he has good handles that he uses effectively okay, to either Jesser, get to the rim nice. or get an open shot. Okay, on Jesser? the defensive side of the ball, he can hold his that's own. Nice. People don't realize that Jesser is in the 6'2". He's 6'3". That's, like that's an NBA player's height. 6'3 range. His height combined with his long arms gives him the ability to heavily contest get that out or even block Jesser. shots. Get that out of here. A couple said. of Jesser's go-to scoring moves are his behind-the-back crossovers. Okay. That's nice. Okay, behind the back. Oh, exposing cash nasty. Expose him. Expose him. Expose him. Oh! That was nice. And his fadeaway jump shots. Okay, fadeaway. Fadeaway. Okay, on flight. Okay, okay, just right to you. It's like you gotta play better defense. Okay, that's nice. Okay, a nice view. Okay, that's nice. During his time on YouTube, Jester has competed in 59 1v1s 59. on YouTube. That's but we're lot. only going to count 47 of those because he's played okay. multiple 4 and 5 star recruits like Jalen Hands, RJ Hampton, and Brandon Williams, just to name a few. A I'm few pretty sure he beat one of those people. I'm not sure who it was, but he beat one of those high school recruits. I know that for a fact. NBA players like Nazir Little, James Harden, and lost an unbound twice. But the first game, they skipped a couple of Jester's baskets, so I couldn't get an accurate field goal percentage. And the second time, they didn't even finish the game because lost an unbound is just that bad at basketball that he basically said, I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> so out of those 47 games, Jester has a record of 35 and 12. 35 and 12, that's really good actually. Considering his comp- It's better than I would ever do. Petition, that's pretty good. With those 12 losses coming from YouTubers like Cash Nasty, LSK, okay. Kenny Chow, Zach TTG, and Rice Gum. Okay, Just to name okay. a few. Jesser's worst loss stat-wise was against Rice Gum on February 9th, 2020, oh, where geez. Jesser shot 2 for 10 from the field and 0 for 5 from the 3 Everybody and only scored day, 2 though. points. So out of his 35 wins, who has he beaten? Well, Jesser has beaten a ton of fans and subscribers and YouTubers like Moochie, Jidel, Kenny Chow, Cash Nasty, and Flight Reacts. Again, just to name a few. And out of his 35 wins, his best one stat-wise was against Kenny Chow on December 22nd, 2018, where Jester shot 100% from the field and lit it up from deep, going 4 for 4 from behind the arc. Now let's talk about his shooting numbers. Out of all his 47 games, Jester puts up an average of 16.4 shots a game and makes 9.4 of those shots. Remember guys, the link in the description will be in the, the link in the, there'll be links in the description if you wanna watch this video, subscribe to this channel, watch Jess's reaction, and uh, if we can get like five or 10 likes, I'll do more videos like this, okay? So let's get into it. Which is good. Now when we look at his three ball, Jess okay, puts up an average of six points. So as you can see, 16 field goal attempts, 9.4 made, three point, or 6.3 field point, 
three pointers, three shots a game, and makes three of three point pre pre three pointers made. That's pretty good. That's really decent actually. Let's break this down even more. As you can see, Jesser has put up a total of 772 okay, Jesser, shots, shots and has made okay. 441 of them, which gives him an impressive field goal percentage of 57%. That's really good. And out of those 772 shots, 294 of them were three-pointers. And Jesser has made 140 of those shots, okay, giving him a 47.6 three-point percentage. That's good. What can I say? The man's a shooter. Also, shooter. here is the list of games that I watched and calculated the stats for. There will be a link in the okay. description that will take you to this chart so that you can look on it for yourself. Now okay. what everyone has been waiting for, let's take a look at Jesser's shot chart. So it wasn't until I started making this shot chart when I realized exactly how much time and work this video was going to take. Yeah, Every single shot that Jesser has taken in these 47 games are on this chart. Let's talk about Jesser's tendencies. Like I that, did, that didn't look too bad. Like Just from my observation, you can see there's uh, quite a bit, like as you can see, there's quite a bit of um, deep free pointers made. Um, there's a lot of corner frees and there's a lot of fadeaways. I said earlier, and as you can see here, Just from what I can tell, the man likes to show off his range. There are multiple shot attempts from way behind the arc, and he hits them at a fairly efficient rate. It's clear to everyone that Jesser loves the corner spots. He's a shooter. He what takes and say? makes a lot of them. Also, most of his shots outside the restricted area are his fadeaways, which is one of his most used moves. He also hits these at a fairly efficient rate. And finally, it's clear that Jesser is capable of pulling up from anywhere on the court, which is what makes him a huge offensive threat. So there we have it. We took a look at Jesser's 1v1 record, stats, and shot chart. To recap, he averages 12.4 points per game, allows his opponents to score 9.8 points a game, he has a 57.1 field goal okay, percentage Jester, okay. and a 47.6 three point percentage. Explosion! Jesser is definitely oh. someone that you want on your team. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to okay. vote on who I should make a video on next, nice. there will be a poll at the top right corner of your screen, and I'd really appreciate it if you gave your input on that poll. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter. There will be a link in the description. That will okay, guys, so um, that's the video. Um, like I said, link in the description if you want to see this video. Subscribe to this person. Link will be if you want to subscribe to me. Follow me on Instagram. All those links will be in the description. Um, like I said, we're grinding on YouTube almost every day. So remember to subscribe. We're trying to hit 1K in a couple months. And remember to like the video. If we can get 5 or 10, maybe 15 likes, I would do like uh, Cash Nasty and The Flight Reacts. But you guys need to give some feedback, like some likes and some comments. And I would do that. So, uh. So that's going to do it for the video, guys. It's been DJ Matawa. Remember to uh, have a good day. And remember to stay positive. Peace.